What's up, YouTube? Sinister here, 25 minutes after 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 20th of December, 2011. Happy holidays, everyone. This is a uh, follow-up video to Object or Artifact. put this video out a few weeks ago. Uh, caught this object originally on the 25th of November. And come to find out after I put the video out that there's been some uh, very in-depth research on it uh, for quite some time now by some very scientific minds, very credible minds to say the least. Um, they've deemed this object the solar anvil. Uh, so if you want to look it up, you want to look up other information on it, look up solar anvil. I'm actually going to rename it the plasma worm and I'll show you why in just a few minutes here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to come over to Sechi. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me where I get my data from. This is the Sechi sites, the Naval Research Labs Sechi site. You can see the different views of the satellite. If you come down a little bit, you'll notice that we have Sechi A and Sechi B. Sechi A is Sechi ahead, which is in between the Earth and the Sun, looking towards the Sun. Sechi B being Sechi behind, it's actually behind the Sun, looking back towards the Earth. So you can take either view and look at all this different data from the sun. And then of course you have the different image sizes. I personally like to look at it in 1024. It does take up a lot of your screen, but it takes a little more time to analyze, but you get a lot better view as far as I'm concerned. And then of course you have your date that you put in. And once again, please remember that this site is always two days behind, um, at the least two days behind. Occasionally I've seen it three days behind so if you uh, want to take a look at it, you have to put in the date two days previous to the date that you're on. So today is the 20th, and if I wanted to see the data, the most recent data, I would look at the 18th. And once again, here's the duration of the days. You can go all the way up to nine. I choose to view just one day of data. It uh, makes it a little easier. So that's the site. Once again, I'll put the uh, link down in the description box. Let's jump ahead to <clears throat> the 25th. Once again, this is the first day that I saw the object personally. And we'll scroll back up, take a closer look at it here. <clears throat> you can see, and, and pay close attention to the uh, the top right corner of it is what I noticed when we jump to the next video. <clears throat> it seems to be growing to me. Um, like it's actually absorbing energy from the sun. You can see it's it's three-dimensional. Uh, you can see it interacting with the plasma from the sun as it uh, drives by it. And I'm going to jump over here to the first. Once again, you see such you had core two on the first of December 2011. Going to magnify it again and. To me, it looks like the segments have gotten uh, quite a bit more defined. It's uh, a little more plump, like almost like it's been absorbing energy as the uh, sun pops off its its flares or its CMEs. It's it's almost to me looks like it's absorbing that energy as it goes past it. Now, the interesting thing that I found, and we're going to jump ahead to uh, the next day here. <clears throat> and for those of you who don't know. Uh, who have never been to the site or have not even researched these sites, um, you'll find that a as you research them, uh, NASA is known, and as you talk to people, NASA is, is pretty, NASA and NRL both are pretty known for uh, having data that disappears for some reason. And uh, that's the reason why I actually have this stopped right now. I want to show you the date. Obviously, it's the first. If this runs into the second. And there's some big changes here. Not only is there some big changes, but there's also some what I believe is missing data. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second when I hit play. So uh, let's do that and let it speak for itself. <clears throat> now you see your object here. And did you see that flash there? Take a look at that again and watch it as it happens. It looks absolutely completely different than what it did from one frame to the next which tells me that there's definitely some data missing okay not only that but take a look at our object over here you see it almost disappears well it doesn't really disappear it actually completely changes form it changes shape um, almost like it's been completely depleted now why is this data missing really <clears throat> why would all of a sudden that not be there and at the same time this object changes Let's take a look at it a little bit closer as it does. There's our object. 
and there's once again the missing data <clears throat> the changes and you can see even the star formations behind uh, the flares that are coming off if you watch them those will change as well they'll change position pretty interesting I thought <clears throat> so back to the object um, you can see that after that missing data happens that it completely changes the size uh, it's gotten thinner it almost looks burned out like it's completely emptied itself out um, you can see the segments are out there it's almost missing parts or you can't even see them any longer um, I'm gonna jump ahead one more day I'm sorry two more days this is actually the fourth and I stopped this one for a reason as well and uh, I'm gonna check this out here's our object here looking the same as it did two days ago let's hit play I paused this for a reason uh, and I slowed it down uh, let's pause it one more time you can see the speed here once again you can you can do a lot with these videos and uh, one of the things you can do is change the speed on them and usually the speed starts at 10 10, 10 frames per second I've got it down to one frame per second and the reason I did that was because <clears throat> once again NASA and NRL are saying that this is just artifact on the lens or a, a software issue um, but if you look up as the frames go by as I, I slowed it down as the frames go by you can see a star actually pass behind the object and disappears halfway behind it and then reappears in full form after it passes it which tells me that there's something sitting there or it's a scratch on the lens not an issue with the software now if it were a scratch on the lens then it would not disappear so that being said if you refer back to my previous statement that there are other people researching this you'll find out that this object disappears at times and then comes back henceforth heretofore thereafter why is there missing data NASA I don't get it you tell me so anyway let's take a look now you're gonna see a star come in from the left to the right and it's gonna pass right behind our object I know I gotta move it a little bit slow bear with me here you'll see you see it coming in there on the left now you're gonna see it coming up and you're gonna see it pass halfway behind it and then pop out on the other side now that to me folks tells me that that is not a software issue at all and if it was you think if it was a software issue that that star would actually pass right through the object not behind it and if it was a scratch on the lens yeah would it pass behind it of course it would but would the if it was a scratch on the end lens would the object disappear no no because a scratch is permanent so that tells me that something's going on that uh, is, is pretty fishy let's jump ahead again at this point we are on the 16th and uh, you're gonna see a couple different things here we got Lovejoy coming up shoots around the Sun comes back out the other side here's our object right here once again still looks the same kinda disappears there for a while you can still see a faint outline of it as that CME pops, pops off the Sun as the plasma hits it seems to be growing a little bit again like it uh, is absorbing a little bit more if you once again pay attention to that top right corner you can see it getting just a little bit fatter I have not increased the magnification in any way shape or form just truth here folks I'm not uh, I'm not here to bullshit you I'm just here to uh, to give you what I see so what I'm seeing is it's fattening up a little bit again the the color hasn't changed at all maybe it's lightened up a little bit down towards the bottom uh, but it's definitely fattening up a little bit from the previous screen <clears throat> let's jump ahead one more uh, that's the 25th where we originally saw it on <clears throat> here's the 16th again and that last frame was the 15th and the 16th now here's the 16th going into the 17th and we have nothing there no object whatsoever uh, if you can see it there please tell me if I'm missing something but uh, 
I don't see it at all. So it's completely disappeared. Jump ahead one more screen, and this time we're on the 18th, which is the most recent data. And still nothing there. This is right where our object should be. You can kind of see a faint outline of it. I'm not sure if that's it or not. <clears throat> Uh, anyway, folks, that's the update on Object or Artifact, and uh, once again, I am calling it a Plasma Worm. You tell me. Give me your thoughts. Uh, Y'all are uh, doing a great job. A lot of comments, uh, a lot of support. Thank you very much. Hope everybody's having wonderful, wonderful holidays. Be safe out there. Have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Peace and love.